You're here with Tri-Pedal Reviews. Today we're going to be shooting out several oil can style delays. I'll also be throwing in a couple other pedals that are not oil can delays to see how close we can get to that sound. Not all of these delays offer the same feature set. Some have fixed tone controls, fixed modulation depth and speed, some are single head and some are multi head. I'll also be leaving links in the description to examples of real oil can delays. So if you'd like to see what an authentic unit sounds like, go ahead and check those out. I'll be going over the following with each oil can delay pedal. Shortest delay time, longest delay time, range of modulation, edge of oscillation sounds, how the oscillation handles on each pedal, and slapback settings. For the pedals that are not oil can delays, I'll simply be trying to get as close to the sound of an oil can delay as possible. So let's get into it. We'll be taking a look at the Greer Black Tiger first because it's the simplest one. So here's the shortest delay time. Here's the longest delay time. So with this pedal, there's no adjustment for any type of modulation, so it is what it is. Thank you. 
So next up we have the Alter Ego by 4 by TC Electronics. This is on the TR organ mode. This pedal has zero control over the modulation. Here's the shortest delay time. Here's the longest delay time with the time knob. But you can get longer delay times if you use tap tempo. Now you hear the speed of that modulation, that can't be changed.
we're going to take a look at the OBNE Black Fountain. Here's the clean tone. This is the shortest delay time on modern mode. This is the longest delay time on modern mode. Organ mode has a fixed delay time. So let's take a listen to modern mode. There we can hear a significant difference on both the volume 
and the amount of bass in vintage versus modern mode. Now with organ mode, the controls are kind of switched up, so feedback actually doesn't control the feedback at all. So we can hear whether the control's maxed out or at minimum the feedback's the same. The fluid control actually controls the amount of feedback. What the feedback does is control the intensity of the modulation. time does is control the speed of that modulation.
So next we'll take a look at the Catalan Bread Adden Echo. This pedal mimics a oil can delay with two delay heads. You have a shorter delay time and then a longer delay time. This control blends between the two. This control controls your mix. This is your timing or your delay time. This is your delay feedback even though it's named reverb. And this is basically a control for the intensity of the modulation. So here's the clean tone. Here is the shortest delay time. Here is the longest delay time. Here's a blend.
next is the Nemesis Delay by Source Audio. This is the shortest delay time. This is the longest delay time. This is the factory setting for the oil candle A. So that's just messing with the front panel controls here, but there's a lot of power on the back end that's not accessible on the front panel. So we're going to go over some presets that other users have created. We'll start out with Oil Can Reverb. One thing to note, on the Nemesis you can have multiple delay taps so you can sim simulate the uh, multi-head nature of some of these oil candles. This is kind of why we hear that staggered repeat going on. Next up is a preset called Swirling. Next as a preset called Delay Meld.
Next is a preset called Dirty Oil. This next one is just called Oil Can. This last one that we're going to go over is a preset that I created called TPR Oil Can. And this one kind of gets on that verge of self oscillation.
So now we've gone over some of the cloud presets that other users have created. Uh, all of those except the one I created were grabbed out of the cloud. So those are available for download. Just use the uh, Neuro app on the phone or the desktop editor to access those. So now we're going to take a look at some of the backend features that you can control through the desktop editor. So I've created a preset called TPR oil can and I was just kind of going for a, on the verge of self oscillation dark kind of murky type preset which I think I accomplished pretty well. So if we want to crank up the feedback here we could do that. thing I like about the Nemesis is that it uh, doesn't go super crazy on the feedback, so it just kind of sits there lovely and nice in the background. You can do your wet and dry mix here. All the way to fully wet, or back here to dry. Pretty self-explanatory. Now output level is extremely useful. We notice on some of the dedicated pedals that some of the modes actually cut volume, which isn't something that you really want. And so on the Nemesis, you can adjust that however you like. Here we have our modulation uh, controls. Here you have an input high cut which can apply to the dry signal. So we can crank that all the way up and our signal will get very dark. Or crank it back and it's bright. Uh, not appropriate for this type of sound, but you could always do a low cut and cut out the low end uh, depending on your preference. Or you can do a high cut. I for oil can, I tend to like it somewhere in this range here. I find this is a bit too dark. There's so much cut that it doesn't really let the delay repeat through. Obviously over here is brighter. But like I said, I like it somewhere in here. It's kind of the murky, nice murky sound. control the diffusion of the repeats. I like to keep it pretty diffused for oil can sound. You can reduce the sample rate. Modulation controls down here for wow and flutter, and also noise. Now one cool thing is, with both noise and distortion, you can kind of get that overdriven stuff you know super clean and pristine you can get that if you want it saturated and overdriven you can get that as well i'm not going to go into the sweep stuff um, that's just special effect yourself it doesn't really apply here the tap levels and panning like i said you can have multiple taps here up to two and it kind of gives you that staggered repeat sound here i'm running in mono so i would pan center on both but you could always pan them left and right if you're running stereo, which is a whole nother ball of wax uh, to get nice swirly effects, but I figured I'd keep this one simple and just run mono. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I mean, there's a ton of controls in the application here, and with all the presets you can save, uh, this is honestly one of my favorites.